Thank you so much, Dennis. All right, we have next um, from Veldev, Zach. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Zach Ayush. I'm a developer advocate with the FVM team specifically. Um, and so today we're going to be deploying a uh, actor or if you're from like the Ethereum ecosystem, um, smart contract to the uh, Wallaby testnet where we have the FEVM active, right? So we have the Filecoin virtual machine, the FEM, and we have the FEVM, the Filecoin Ethereum virtual machine, which is essentially the EVM virtualized on top of the FEM. Now, why do we want to do that instead of just deploying actors straight to the FEM? Well, you know, the EVM is widely adopted across many different blockchains, and there's a ton of robust tooling around that including the tool we're going to be using today, uh, Hardhat. Uh, so um, this allows us to take advantage of all that tooling <clears throat> and allow existing Web3 developers to easily come over. <clears throat> and excuse me, my uh, had a, <clears throat> a cough. I think the allergies are hitting me. Um, okay, let me just show you real quick. So just an introduction to Hardhat. <clears throat> um, it's essentially a development environment that allows devs to easily from their computer, just write smart contracts in Solidity, test those smart contracts, deploy them to a chain, automate it. We can inter create tax, tasks to automate our interactions with those uh, 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 smart contracts. Um, and overall, just a very useful tool. There's a couple of other tools. Um, Brownie, if you like to program in Python, Hardhat specifically is in JavaScript. Truffle is another JavaScript, uh, one that a lot of people know from Consensus. And um, we have Foundry, which is kind of the newcomer, but seems to be gaining some steam. You know, we'll, I'll switch over to my VS code. So um, here's what I, um, on the left here, you kind of see what a hard hat project looks like. Um, just a quick overview. We have our contracts directory where we'll write any of our smart contracts in Solidity. Um, deploy. So we're to use a hard hat and deploy to a chain, <clears throat> you need to write a specific deploy script to tell it which contracts you want to point to and where you want to deploy them. And so here we have a simple JavaScript deploy script. We'll go over it in a bit. Um, deployments, which just gives you um, some metadata on where your contracts that have already been deployed are deployed. Um, node modules, if you're familiar with that, um, you know, pretty self-explanatory, NPM, or yarn node modules. And scripts and tasks. Um, so these are where we can write things that we want to automate. Tasks are a little bit more built in with hard hat, so we can just call, we can commit type in the command hard hat and then put whatever task we want in and it'll automatically run. Scripts are just like anything else that might not work super well with hard hat. Right now we do not have any. Uh, we just got this demo done uh, yesterday and the FEVM is still um, a work in progress. So, you know, you can find the release schedules for that online. Uh, but for now, um, we'll be interacting with our contract using curl and just contacting the RPC uh, directly. And the other important file I want to point out is the hardhat config.js. So this is where we can customize uh, our hardhat and tell what we want out of it and where we want to point it to. So you'll see here, we're pointing it to the Wallaby testnet <clears throat> where we have the FEVM deployed. And we've defined the RPC URL for uh, Wallaby and um, a private key that we're gonna be working with. Of course, I always have to tell this, I know people here probably already know, never show your private key, um, probably keep it hidden in an environment variable somewhere, make sure you don't check it in to get, just to be safe. Uh, I always like to put that disclaimer in. Um, okay, so yeah, if we, so we have it all pointed to already to Wallaby we come here and we look at the deploy script, it has some requirements for some built-in, um, some hard hat requirements and um, a couple of Filecoin things. So it understands Filecoin language. And essentially it's just gonna call this RPC and send a post request um, to say, hey, 
we have this contract. Let's send over the bytecode and deploy it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and deploy that. So I'm going to type in npx hardhat deploy. And this is going to take a little bit of time while the um, deployment interacts with Wallaby and Wallaby confirms it. Um, so we'll use that and I'll look at the solidity code and explain it real quick. You'll see, let's see, I'm going to try to get this a little bit bigger. There we go. Um, we have what our Ethereum just would be, you know, if we were acting on the EVM, but underneath that, since this is on the FVM, we have the file coin addresses associated. Um, particularly, we're going to be looking at this F0 address later. So um, it's deploying. Let's look at simplecoin.sol. So essentially, this is just a uh, Solidity contract. It's like a very basic version of what an ERC-20 token may be. Very dumbed down, you know, just for demo purposes. And you'll see we just have a simple mapping here for balances, a transfer event that gets emitted, um, and a constructor that assigns us 10,000 simple coins uh, when we deploy it. Um, and then we have a uh, function to send coins and two other functions to uh, check balances at addresses. We are going to be using the get balance in ETH um, function in a bit to see what our balance is. Um, okay, so it is deployed and we have an address uh, right here. This is going to be important in a second. We're going to need that. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and interact with it. Go to my terminal here. So this should give you some more views. You'll see where I was already kind of messing with this earlier. And we're going to get this uh, curl script here. So we're going to actually, just testing to make sure it worked, um, you'll see it came back with nothing here. Um, and that's because we need to point it at our contract that where it's deployed. Um, and we're going to need to tell it uh, our account, right? That F0 account. Um, so if we come here in the to field, this is where we're going to put uh, our deployed contract address, the 432. And in our data, our from is coming from our address, our deployer address. And in the data field here, you want to make sure that this is also the deployer address, which it is. Um, and all this other data is like the function selector, which is essentially a um, like taking some of the hashes of the, the function signature and putting it together. This is like a, all EVM standards, right? So now if we send it, awesome. So in the results, you'll see this 2710, and that's just hex. Uh, if you convert it to decimal, that's 10,000. So we've deployed that contract, the constructor went through, and it showed us that we have 10,000 simple coin um, in our account. Um, and you'll see that like, this is a very simple demo for now, but the the FEM is really coming to, to life. Like this is what's so exciting about this. Um, and a lot more features will be coming online. I hope to put this starter kit up and make it available uh, for everyone to mess around with and um, hopefully have some more tasks and stuff on there. So you won't have to be using curl to interact with the, the JSON RPC directly. Um, so yeah, I think that puts us right to time. Thanks so much.